Hello everyone, I'm glad you could join us to read Place Value by David Adler, illustrated by Edward Miller, and read to you by Tom Jacobs. I am so excited to show you and read this book that tells us about how our number system works. Using only 10 digits, we can make amazing numbers and do so much with uh, understanding our number system. And I hope you will enjoy learning with me. Okay, so let's go to Banana Cafe and make some amazing cupcakes. And we're going to make a lot of them. So let's start reading. A is both a word and a letter. One is both a number and a digit. A is the first word in the sentence. A frog jumped on to my cupcake. A is the fifth letter in the word cupcake. One is the number in the sentence. We're number one. One is the second digit in the number 318. We write words with letters. There are 26 letters in our alphabet. And you could say them if you want. Count the letters in the word banana. Can you do that? Banana. Let's see. Banana. B, one, two, three, four, five, six. Banana is a word with six letters. We write numbers with digits. Word digits. There are ten digits in the in our number system. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. Make ten. Count the digits in the number 543. One, two, three, four. 543, a number with four digits. And we are going to make 543 banana cupcakes. And this is our recipe. All of this here, you're going to see this in the, these individual numbers in a little bit. Order is important in both words and numbers. Pot and top have the same letters, but because their order is different, the words are different. Cafe and face have the same letters, but because their order is different, the words are different. 216 and 621 have the same digits, but because their order is different, the numbers are different. The place of each digit in the number determines its value. The 6 in 216 means six ones. See that right there? The 6 in 621 means six hundreds. See the hundreds and the hundreds part? And this is the 600 eggs. And this is the six eggs, I think, for this one. Now we're going to add some sugar and some flour to our recipe. All right, let's read what we got. Let's see. 9,347 and 7,493 have the same digits, but because their order is different, the numbers are different. So they have all the same digits, but their order is different. The 7 in 9,347 means seven ones, and the 7 in 7,493 means 7,000. Wow. Take a look at this chart. On it, you can see the value of each digit in the number 
21. So in this, in the number 654,321, there is a comma. See that comma right there? After the four. So after the four, there's a comma. Commas are used to break large numbers into groups of three. The group of three are counted to the left from the ones, pl ones place, and the comma makes numbers easier to read. So starting in the ones place, you go one, two, three, and then a comma, and then one, two, three. And if there was another number, another digit, we would put a comma right there. The first group of three, 321, is read 321. And the second group of three, 654, is read 654,000, because these are in the thousands. Do you see all these thousands? With the 10 digits in our number system, we can write even larger numbers. See this number? is a lot larger. And this number is read 2,426,782. Here it is down here. From the left, the value of the first two is 2 million. The value of the second two is 20,000. And the value of the third two is, uh, third two is two, two ones. Now, this might start to look complicated, but it's really the same number system that we have, that stays the same really all the time, and you'll learn that. So take a look at this place value chart. You notice anything different? There's a dot to the right of the first one. Right, right to the right. That dot is a decimal point. It separates the columns of the digits with the values of more than one from those of less than one. Each column to the left of the decimal point each column is 10 times more than the column before. So this one is, that's 10 times and 10 times. The value, uh, each column to the right is 1 tenth. So if we go over here, it's 1 tenth and then 1 tenth. The value 9 to the right of the decimal point is nine tenths. And if you move over one more column, the eight means eight hundredths. Dollars, dimes, and pennies can teach you about the decimal point. So let's look over at the next page. How much money is in this box? If you write it in words, you write $12.34. If you write it as a number, you write it this way. It still says $12.43. Where the decimal is, you say, sort of say and, $12.34. Let's go down here. Let's see. There is one dollar bill in the box. The one in $12.34 is in the tens place. It means $10. So there's one $10 bill, and it means 10, $10. There is a two, there are two one dollar bills in the box. Two, and that's referred down into the ones. The two in twelve dollars and thirty-four cents 
in the ones place means two dollars. There are three dimes in, a in the box. Each dime is one tenth. Move to the right. Each dime is one tenth. So one tenth, two tenths, three tenths means three tenths is three tenths of a dollar. So the three in twelve dollars and thirty four cents, okay, means three tenths of a dollar. And then there's these four. Four pennies, one, two, three, four, and those are four hundredths, four hundredths of a dollar. Okay. Whew. So are you learning a lot about our number system? How did our number system start? Let's learn and find out. Our number system is called the Hindu Arabic system. It was first developed in India a few thousand years ago and spread across the Middle East and to Europe with just the 10 symbols in the Hindu Arabic system we can write any number no matter how large or how small it's place value that makes our system so powerful take another look at this place value chart the first column to the right of the decimal point is four tenths. The first column to the left of the decimal point is for any number less than 10. Okay. The second column to the left of left is for the tens. The third column is for the hundreds. Of course, each hundred is 10 tens. The fourth column is for thousands. Oops, right there. There should be a comma in between there, right there. Each thousand is 10 hundreds. 10 hundreds. Each, each thousand is 10 hundreds. Each thousand. And each hundreds is 10 tens. And that keeps working. So it's 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. That's all you have to remember. The Hindu Arabic number system is based on 10. Why 10? Many people believe it's because we each have 10 fingers. That makes it pretty simple. Our system may have started thousands of years ago when someone counted on their fingers. He reached 10 and made a mark on the ground to show he had counted on his all his fingers. The mark on the ground meant 10. He continued to count. Each time he counted all his fingers, he made another mark. Each mark meant 10. So now you've learned that 132 is not the same as 123. And 123 is not the same as 321. Right here. The digits in each of the numbers are the same, but the numbers are different. Our number system depends on place value. It's what enables us to write this huge number using just 10 digits. See this huge number right here? That's a huge number. We read that 329 trillion. See the trillions? 329 trillion. See, so we break it into our threes, three groups. Let's me keep going. 400. 65 billion, 465 billion right here, 100, where was I? I just lost my spot, 400 billion, 180 million, 180 million, 708,000, 708,000, 643, 
143. We read that big number. Oh my goodness, I think that big number was all the sprinkles we put on. So we put these many sprinkles on. 329 trillion and a lot more. And, and that's a lot. That's a lot of sprinkles. That's a huge cupcake, don't you think? So I hope you learned a little bit about our place value. It's all based on 10 digits, and we can write any number and put as many sprinkles on a, a humongous, tremendously humongous cupcake as we want. I thought they were going to make a lot more cupcakes rather than one huge cupcake, but I hope you had fun. This was Tom Jacobs reading to you about place value by David Adler and illustrated by Edward Miller. Take care.